evil must be punished. Alrighty. Alan Keyes is throwing his hat into the ring for President of the United States. Some people might say, well, you're getting in kind of late. Actually, he's not. Everybody else started almost a year early, so so I actually no, he's not. Uh, I guess if you're kind of low on cash, that's the best way to do it. Just, you know, come in a little bit later. But, uh, yeah, I think everybody else started like several months, if not even a year, way too early. And, uh, you know, if you'll think back, you know, a lot of people are like, man, why is everybody starting so early on this thing? So, yeah, uh, a few months early, uh, maybe even a year early. But uh, let's see what we got here. This is from RenewAmerica.us. Alan Keyes announces for president September 14, 2007. Uh, Renew America staff. On Friday, September 14th, Alan Keyes filed a statement of candidacy, Form 2, with the Federal Election Commission, thus officially announcing as a Republican candidate for President of the United States. Keyes told Tan Janet Parshall, host of a nationally syndicated radio show, that he's unmoved by the lack of moral courage shown by the other candidates, among whom he sees no standout, who articulates the key kernel of truth that must, with courage, be presented to our people. He added, the one thing I've always been called to do is to raise the standard of our allegiance to God and his authority that has been the foundation stone of our nation's life. And he decried the lack of forthright, clear, and clarion declaration from the other candidates concerning this issue. As a result, he said, we're putting together an effort that's not going to be like anything before because it's going to be entirely based on citizen action. We're going to be challenging people to take a pledge for America's revival and elevate them from spectators in the political arena to participants. The former Reagan diplomat ran previously for president in 1996 and in 2000. During the 96 race, he was widely credited with forcing abortion to the center of the public policy debate. In 2000, he was acknowledged by commentators at Fox News, MSNBC, and CNN as the winner of the Republican presidential primary debates. And in that election, he continued his prior focus on America's moral crisis and also made abolishing the income tax a serious question for policymakers. This election cycle, Keyes has already significantly influenced the debate. According to some observers, who note that at least a few of the GOP candidates appear intent on initiating some of Key's well-known positions in an effort to woo moral conservatives, without which no Republican is likely to win in the general election. As a prelude to running prior to making up his mind to announce, Keyes has been writing a series of essays on the 208 election titled The Crisis of the Republic, published at Renew America and disseminated by several other outlets. A common theme of the articles is the need to restore personal sovereignty that is based in religious premise and self-discipline if American society is to survive in liberty. He says he plans to join the Values Voter Presidential Debate September 17th at Fort Lauderdale, Florida. So, he's basically throwing his hat into the ring and... Uh, He's got some good stuff to say, from what I understand, so uh, I see no problem with him with him going in. Um, I don't think he's a member of the CFR or Trilat, so that makes you know that makes me happy. That makes me real happy. So uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, maybe he can make a difference. I don't know. We'll, have, we'll just have to see, fellas. But I thought I'd give you all a heads up on it. <laughs> 